Xochitl Mora with the City of McAllen. Welcome to your McAllen Minutes. If you missed the McAllen City Commission meeting of June 28th, don't worry. Here's a brief recap of what was discussed. Mayor Javier Villalobos called the McAllen City Commission meeting to order, and after the Pledge of Allegiance, District 1 Commissioner Tony Aguirre Jr. gave the invocation. The meeting opened up with a presentation by Keep McAllen Beautiful, highlighting the Tree City USA designation it received in November of 2020, after meeting four of the core tenants to receive the accolade. KMB created a tree board to advocate for planting of native trees in public spaces, hosts an annual Arbor Day celebration, and spends at least 2% of its annual budget on landscaping and planting native trees. The signs indicating the Tree City USA designation will be placed at US 83 in Jackson and US 83 in Taylor Road. The first proclamation was read by District 5 Commissioner Victor Sebi Haddad for National Safety Month, which focuses on reducing leading causes of injuries and deaths at work and on the road. He was joined by City of McAllen Risk Management Director Yolanda Perez and staff and McAllen Safety Officers. The City of McAllen values the safety of all its employees and is committed to promote a positive safety culture that is embraced by all. A successful citywide safety program depends on spotting hazards early, evaluating the risk, and removing or controlling them before harm is done. Keeping employees safe while on the job is McAllen's risk management's top priority. The next proclamation was read by District 6 Commissioner Pepe Cabeza de Vaca and was in honor of outgoing Mexican Consul Socorro Jorge Cholula. The proclamation highlighted the close and positive relationship the Mexican Consulate's office has with the City of McAllen on various local, border, and national issues that have linked the two communities for so long. Under the consent agenda, Commissioners authorized a grant application to the U.S. Department of Justice assistance for funding under the fiscal year 2021 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant Program, which seeks to help local governments prevent and reduce crime and violence. The grant request is for the McAllen Police Department's Emergency Communications Center to purchase 15 chairs for its 911 operators. The grant request is for $12,165. While no local match is required, if awarded, McAllen Police Department will supplement the cost with $7,560. Commissioners also authorized disposing of two retired fire trucks, a 1995 Pierce model with 153,000 miles and a 1994 Pierce model with 116,500 miles on it. The trucks will be made available at $2,500 each. Under bids and contracts, commissioners unanimously approved the collective bargaining agreement negotiated between the management of the City of McAllen and the McAllen Firefighters Association, IAFF Local 2602. The union overwhelmingly approved the contract, which will be in place for the next four years. Under ordinances, commissioners approved a budget amendment transferring $5,250,000 from the general fund to the infrastructure and improvement fund for various HVAC work at multiple City of McAllen buildings. Commissioners also approved a budget amendment of $2,681,246 from the McAllen Development Corps for the budget shortfall of the Parks Administration Facility Project, which includes both design and construction costs. Under the City Manager's report, commissioners tabled finalizing board and committee appointments until a full commission was present to discuss final appointments to the bridge board. McAllen Tax Assessor Collector Rebecca Grimes gave her year-to-date tax collection report. Base tax amount collected is at $49,503,306.09, a 95.62% collection rate, which includes taxes collected on real estate, personal property, mobile homes, and minerals. This amount does not include additional collections and fees of late rendition penalties, penalty and interest, attorney fees, tax certificates, return checks, rollback, and the Public Improvement District, which totals $1,059,928.31. Leinbogger, Goggin, Blair, and Sampson, the City of McAllen's tax delinquent attorneys, gave their year-to-date collection report, which is $484,837 in base taxes and $166,757 in penalty and interest. The firm will continue its effort to collect delinquent taxes and while currently it was following CDC guidelines and avoiding face-to-face -face contact with the easing of restrictions and the increase in vaccinations, their efforts will soon return to more standard practices for delinquent tax collection efforts. 
Edgar Garcia, director for the planning department, gave his monthly status report, highlighting four new subdivisions, two residential and two commercial for a total of 30 lots, and three new subdivisions recorded, two residential and one commercial for a total of 43 lots. City engineer Yvette Barrera gave a detailed presentation of ongoing projects, with an update on the Bicentennial Boulevard extension project. The final stretch of the 2.8 mile extension to State Highway 107 should be completed by the end of August, but another section of the roadway will soon be opened up in the next few weeks. Several 2018 bond drainage improvement projects are ongoing, including the North 43rd Street Stormwater Bypass, the Dove Avenue Drainage Project, the North 4th Street at Sunflower Drainage Improvement, the Northwest Blue Line Retrograde Trenton Outfall, and the Bicentennial Boulevard Blue Line Bridge Improvements. Other ongoing projects include those related to the drainage utility fee, including the Sarah Avenue Storm Sewer Bypass and the Gardenia Avenue at North 12th. Commissioners expressed concern at the delay and congestion caused by some of the drainage improvement projects, which engineering was following up with a contractor to push those concerns through. Barrera also gave an update on various TxDOT projects with commissioners requesting additional details on the scope of those projects. Finally, Interim Director Denny Maline gave a status update on the McAllen Parks and Recreation projects, including the completion of the Uvalde Ballfield Lighting Project, a CDBG-funded project, which will be the first LED-lit ballpark in McAllen. Another CDBG-funded project is the upcoming landscaping beautification project at Ware Road, Colbath, and Jordan, and should be completed next month. The Suarez Park toddler play system is delayed, like many initiatives still, because of the pandemic, and will commence construction as soon as it arrives. With the opening of University Draft House at Fireman's Park, a water hut is being relocated on property, and parks crews have been completing landscaping at the soon-to-be-renamed Garza Chavez Police Community Network Center. Finally, under tabled items, commissioners approved an award of contract for the design and construction of the McAllen New Parks Facility and Metro Transfer Station to D. Wilson in the amount of $12,906,000, which is $4.7 million over budget. The pandemic has affected construction costs and commissioners decided that the project was important enough and could not afford to wait to see if costs would come down. McAllen Metro will fund a portion of their project through Federal Transportation Administration funds, while the park's shortfall will be covered by the earlier commission-approved budget amendment from the McAllen Development Corps. We hope you enjoyed this recap of your McAllen City Commission meeting. Meetings are set for the second and fourth Monday of each month. We also air the entire meeting on the McAllen Cable Network Spectrum 1300 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For the City of McAllen, I'm Xochitl Mora.